We're talking tiny, tiny here. This is the good bug that you see here seen on the surface of a blueberry for perspective, and it's the soldier scientists will use to fight a different insect ruining our food. Oregon and Washington are rich with berry crops and wine grapes, but growers face many challenges. We're just working nonstop just to survive. Dr. Von Walton grew up in an agricultural family in South Africa. Continuously being affected by things all over. But now as a professor of entomology at Oregon State University, studying insect impact on crops we all consume. And this tiny pest is causing big problems. Tremendous uh, damage on a yearly basis. It's called the spotted wing drosophila, an invasive fruit fly from Asia. But it's worse than those in your kitchen. These burrow their eggs into berries and fruit. Larvae then hatch and ruin the crop. The fly causes about $500 million in losses to U.S. agriculture each year, and toxic pesticides don't always work. So we're getting our first signs of insecticidal resistance. That's where this even smaller wasp comes in. Walton says it's a parasite of the fly larvae. For 10 years, he and researchers around the world studied if it would be safe to release the wasp in the U.S., and now the USDA has given approval. And we think that it's going to be a beneficial all around, not just to the environment, but to the growers and to their profit levels as well. Years of study alongside researchers and growers in the U.S., China, Korea, and Japan bridged the gap between nations that don't always see eye to eye. When it comes to environment and food and things that we all depend on, there is a common goal there. Without those friends that we've made over all these years, we wouldn't have been here today. He says the wasp only targets these fruit fly larvae. His labs are raising wasps for release around crops in Oregon and other states this year to help reduce pesticide use and crop losses. Why is it important to you personally? That dream of being able to make a difference is is amazing to be involved in that. Boosting our health and richness for possibly years to come. OSU researchers will track the impact here. Over the next two to three years, they're gonna watch for any changes to crop health, fruit fly population, and of course, those wasps.